Welcome back to Techno Surge in YouTube channel. So AMD's Ryzen Threadripper Pro 7995 WX 96 core 192 thread processor has been tested for its multi-threaded performance and it comes from the overclocker and he tested it for Cinebench R20, R15, R20 and R23 and this 96 core is truly a best because it destroyed the competition and it score in R15 23697 points in multi core in Cinebench R20 it scored 61538 points and in Cinebench R23 it scored 161259 points which is insane to see and it was air cooled and this is important it was air cooled but it drove almost 980 watts which is pretty high but at the same time this just shows how powerful this 96 core parts are capable of along with air if they are used if you are using liquid nitrogen or air cooling or not air cooling but water cooling it you can just take it to a whole new level and yeah this 96 core parts are truly insane next up amd has released its rx 7000 series we already knew about it like there are m counterparts and rx 7900m comes with 72 rdna3 cores which is 4608 stream processor 16 gb of jdr6 and up to 180 watt tgp which is insane and yeah as of now we have less laptops available but this 7900m scored a pretty reasonable frames like pretty reasonable score in 3d mark time span and it scored almost 100 and not in time span but in a graphics performance as you can see in rx 7900m scored almost 171k which is higher than rtx 4090 for laptops 4090 mobile as you can see 171 430k when you compare it with rtx 4090 laptop it scored on a only 157k so and in OpenCL 4090 literally beats it by a huge amount but the yeah, rx 7900m is looking pretty nice but at the same time the power draw is also pretty big to push those frames and to push those performance at 180 watts but it also depends on the system integrators how they want to tune the software and tune this gpu for their laptops according to the form factors and stuff but yeah it's looking nice at least they are competing at high end and next up we have some news regarding nvidia and nvidia's rtx 1490 pricing is going up i recently made a video not recently like two months back one month back it was close to 1650 1700 bucks in using which is higher than 1600 bucks in when it just launched and in proposition to china ban from which started from 17 november rtx 1490 pricing is just skyrocketing as you can see rtx 1490 shipment is changing in china like there are no rtx 1490 because of us export ban and this just caused the pricing to go haywire basically rtx 4090 in usa is costing around 1800 bucks to 2000 bucks in usa and almost 2300 in china and yeah it's pretty insane like the cheapest you can find for rtx 4090 is 1900 and it's closing to 2000 and also our amd rx 7900 xtx is also seeing price hikes in china which is to be expected but yeah lastly for today we have some news regarding rtx 4080 4080 super and 4070 ti basically nvidia is halting the production for two rtx series gpus and it is rtx 4080 and 4070 ti and it is just to make room for rtx 4070 ti super and 4080 super in their production line and judging from the pricing which is being leaked by by red not red gaming tech but most law is dead we saw that rtx 4080 super will be priced around 999 bucks for its configuration and at that price point rtx 4080 was launched for 1100 bucks for the 16 gb vram variant but rtx 4080 super for six to nine percent increase in performance and at 999 bucks they will just discontinue RTX 4080 and 4070 Ti because 4070 Ti Super and 4080 Super is looking pretty insane. Like 
for the same performance and in some scenarios less pricing it's you are getting additional performance so why should they make the old rtx 4080 or 4070 ti but yeah that's it from me today what do you think about the news sound of your thoughts in the comment section below like share and subscribe and i'll meet you in the next one peace out